Well, I'm Seamus Cascarino, the new manager of Man United, the Red Devils. Uh, it's my first day in the job and I have a lot on my plate, so I'll just check out the in-tray. Uh, Wayne Rooney transfer requests. Uh, Wayne Rooney transfer requests. Uh, Anderson's takeaway menus. Okay, um, look, uh, I was never a big fan of Man United. Uh, I admired them, I do. Um, I once heard they were in a plane crash, but uh, it was only players I'd never heard of that were injured or killed. It wasn't the likes of Wayne Rooney or that, so don't worry. Um, but I did, I, I watched them, I was trapped in a public house a few years ago and I watched them play this team from Denmark and the team sheet caught my attention. Just a list of exotic names, you know, place names I'd love to visit before I die, but you know, I'd be too worried, like it'd be dangerous after dark. There was like uh, Rio, Valencia, um, park um but look i i can't do all this on my own so uh, i need an assistant and i know the very man he, he's the he's the top man for the job and uh, i couldn't get anyone else to be honest so i'm just going to give him a ring now there's a number here um okay okay it's ringing hello steve steve staunton happy days you're on what He's on Celebrity Family Fortunes. So I, I didn't even know you were related to someone famous, Steve. Yeah. Look, I'll ring you back later. You fancy a job in football? No, football. Football? Yeah. Nice one. Okay. Talk to you later. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, he's the only man I could get, uh, Stan, but uh, busy though. Uh, he was just asked there to name a dangerous race, I think I heard. What did he say? Um, it was a bit muffled, but I think I heard them Muslims followed by wah, wah. I'm sure it's password three. Come in. Well, this is your office. Yeah. It's like something a couple of Irish comedians would do a shit sketch show in. Well, it's not all glamour at the top, I'm finding. The top? Show sure, her my table, lad. It's not all glamour at the table. I've a feeling my bones is going to be our year, though. Although I did hear a Liverpool fan say that once. I've 23 times since 1990. Anyway, sit down. Sure, I'm a Liverpool man myself. Stan? Oh, so you're Steve. Steve Staunton. You look different in real life. You never say you look a bit like Kevin Goldsmith. Kevin Goldsmith? You mean that extremely good looking, relatively unknown, Cork comedian? No, the relatively unknown Cork comedian. No, nobody's ever said that. And is that a Cork accent? I thought you were from Laid like myself. No, I only put that shit on in public. For the crack. Try only, only ever been to Dundalk the once. And that was right the course. To forward him, Jim and all. Why not? In for a penny, in for a pounding. You know what to say in football? Sometimes the extra man doesn't count at all. Now, are you sure you're Steve Staunton? You rang me, didn't you? Yeah, but you could have just got his phone. USA 94? Mm. Ah, come on, no. Listen, what kind of a gobshite is going to go around pretending to be Steve Stone? Yeah, I suppose, okay. Well, what's the story with this on your top? S, 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 S. Steven, Steve, Stan, Staunton, Senior. See? You mean there's a junior out there somewhere? Not that I know of. It's not just tape. It's gaffer. That's the worst bit of gaffer tape of it. I'm the gaffer. And at the end of the day, whatever I say goes. What's the crack? Who was the beardy bollocks that just left there? Well, that's Malcolm. Malcolm who? I thought it was that John McGregor bollocks. No, Malcolm. Malcolm Glazier. He's the boss. The owner here. He was in wishing me luck and telling me we'd sell a player for 10 million. To make some interest payment or something tomorrow. Tomorrow? Who are you going to sell by tomorrow? Ashley Young. Of course. I'll put the feelers up. Good man, Stan. Password 4, maybe? Couple of faxes will come through there, boss. All right, I'll go and get them. Hold on. Look at stuff. They're covered in chewing gum. Can you get them for me, Stan? No bother, boss. Are they for me? There's our faxes, boss. What's the story of them? One's from Newcastle, an offer for Ashley Young, and the other is a special offer on cruises. Don't believe this. Did you know the Scandinavian princess was awarded Best Northern Europe Itineraries by Porto Magazine in 2006? Fuck. Fair play. Oh yeah, Newcastle bid 12 million for Ashley Young. What? I thought Joe Canary had left. Right, look, I'll ring him now, get him on the phone, give him the good news. Right. Ashley! Ashley Young! 
Yeah, it's Seamus Cascarino here. Your new boss. You're just get yeah, although he's just getting off a flight. A flight? He's training nowhere. Where can he be coming back from? An offside position knowing him. Yeah, Ashley, yeah, what what where are we? Filming a celebrity. He's been off oh, filming a celebrity soccer skill shows up. Keep you uppy with the Kardashians. No, I've never heard of it. No, listen, Ashley, a bit of news for you. Um we've got a bid for you. Uh Newcastle? Yeah, medical tomorrow. So you're off. No, Newcastle. Yeah, I know it's an awful dive, but hold on, it's a bit rich coming from you. Listen, Adele will give you all the details tomorrow. Okay, see you. See you, Ashley. Bye, bye, bye. Jeez, he wasn't happy. I'd say he nearly fell over when I told him. Wouldn't be the first time. Mm. Happy days, fair play. Ah, stand the man. Fair play in the desk. Bring that in here on your own. Pepe here gave me a hand. He's some worker. Well worth the seven million, that lad. Yeah, it's Bebe or BB or Beba. Boss, I ain't got no fucking clue. And the most people call me M. Tiago, Manuel, Rodriguez, but you can call me Bebe. Oh, hold on, is your contract not up? Were you not released? Yes, it is, boss. But guess what? I'd, I'd just like to hang around here just to hang a couple of pictures. Yeah, I told Stan to ask you to give me a hand. Yeah, we've a few pictures of United Legends just to try and inspire the current bunch. Um, we've Andrew Cole, uh, used to be called Andy Cole, um, Dwight York, and uh, a Teddy Sheringham. That, look, Bebe, never buy it and unseen off the internet. It's just not worth it. That is how Sir Alex Fungus got me. Well, Stan, where'd you get the desk? It's very like the old one. Brendan Rogers got a new one. It's nice, isn't it? It's all right. It's a bit of a mess, though. Like, he's left all sorts. Of, like, just hundreds, thousands of signed photos of Brendan Rogers. Who'd want them? Brendan Rogers, mainly. I suppose. And then there's three envelopes, sealed envelopes down. It seems to be a note. There's names inside them. Will I open them? Here, go on. What's the worst thing that could happen? Andrex! Colo Ture. Glenn Johnson. Stephen Staunton. Here, give me that. Sorry, that's mine. That's for me doll. Johnson and Tora, though. What's that all about? I don't know. It could be a list of his best players. You think we should make a little bid for them? Yeah, but Johnson, he was terrible at Chelsea, wasn't he? Yeah. It's the only time he's seen a good Johnson and a bad Johnson playing in the same team. Yeah, but maybe I'll ring him, thank him for the desk, make a little cheeky bid on the side like Ferguson did with Cantona. I wouldn't do that. Oh, no, I'll, on, I'll do it later. I'll, I'll ring him now. Save your credit, Stan. Save your credit. Hold on. I have his number here somewhere. Okay. Brendan Rogers. Let's ring it. Brendan. Brendan Rogers. Yeah, it's uh, Seamus Cascarino here. Yeah. No, no, the new Man United manager. Yeah, listen, I'm just ringing to thank you for the desk. The one you gave Stan. You didn't give him a... You wouldn't give United the steam off... Okay, okay. Look, listen, how about United give you a little something? All right, we've just signed Colo Ture and Glenn Johnson, uh, subject to medicals. Exciting times at Old Trafford. to be here July the 1st, but uh, first... Um, Stan, I was wondering, why did you lie about the desk, anyway? The men upstairs weren't willing to sanction a new one. They're willing to bring one in on loan, but... I just got Pepe to scrape the gum off the bottom of the table, to be honest, lad. Fair enough. Uh, well, Stan here, he's just checking out how the other full-time results went for all the other teams. Stan? Hold on. Villa nil. Hull nil. Everton nil. Cardiff City nil. Chelsea nil. West Ham nil. Man City nil. Newcastle United nil. Spurs nil. West Brom nil. Swansea nil. Arsenal 88. Oh, hold on, that's just a fucking fly on the screen. Swansea nil, Arsenal nil. Oh, jeez, they've all gone our way anyway. Hold on, hold on. what time is this then? 2.57. Oh, they haven't even started yet. Baby, can you fix that clock? Yeah, boss. Who the hell is that anyway? Do you mind shake uh, big, uh, Given! Possibly, yeah. It used to be great, but just the hands don't seem to work anymore.
Hello, Brendan. Roger, it's me. Yeah, he's gone to the toilet. He hasn't got a clue. He's useless, worse than the last fella. This might just work. We might get Manchester United relegated. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday, and for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Will Man United win again? Will Seamus realise that his new assistant has ulterior motives? Will Bebe finally fix the Che Guevara clock? And could the acting get any worse? Find out in the next episode of Seamus and Stan relegating Man United. Dad, Dad.